How do we evaluate limit of a function from a graph? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to determine the limit of a function based from its graph. Okay, let's have the first one. Consider the following function defined by its graph. So as you can see, this is a graph of a piecewise function. So find the following limits. So letter A, the limit of f of x as x approaches, negative 1 from the left. Then for letter B, negative 1 from the right. For letter C, negative 1. For letter D, negative 4. And for letter E, x approaches positive 4. Take note that the first step in evaluating the limit of the function from its graph is to consider the left and the right hand side's limit. In order for the limit to exist, the limit of the left and the right hand sides must be equal to each other. Okay, let's have the first one. So the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 from the left. So this is our negative 1, right? So coming from the left, going to negative 1, what value of the function is being approached? Okay, so this is the graph that we are going to consider. From the left, going to negative 1, the value being approached by the function is 2. So therefore, the answer in letter A is 2. Okay, how about for negative 1 from the right? So, coming from the right, going to negative 1. So this is the graph that we are going to consider. Here, going to negative 1. The value being approached by the function is also 2. And so, for letter C, the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 1 is also equal to 2. Why? Because the left and the right hand side's limit are both equal to 2. Okay? So, how about for letter uh, D? So the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 4. So we first get the limit of negative 4 from the left. Limit of f of x as x approaches negative 4 from the left. Okay, so this is our uh, negative 4, right? And from the left, it is approaching to what value? That is 3 right so 3 then the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 4 from the right so going from the right going to negative 4 the value being approached by the function is this one right which is uh, correspond to positive 4 gets then as you can see the left and the right hand sides limit are not equal therefore the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 4 does not exist how about for letter e what will we do to solve for the limit of letter e same process with letter D. We're going to consider the left and the right hand sides uh, limit. This the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the left. So this is 4 coming from the left going to 4. The value being approached by the function is negative 3. Then from the right. So this one, the value being approached by the function is negative 2. So as you can see, the left and the right hand side's limit are not equal. So therefore, the limit of the given function does not exist. Okay, so again, for x approaches negative 4. So from the left, this is positive 3. Then from the right, that's 4 here. So it does not exist. Then for x approaches 4 from the left here approaches to negative 3 then from the right this one it approaches to negative 2 
gets. But what if the function is asking for f of 4? What does this mean? This means that we're going to find the value of the function or the value of y that corresponds to x equals 4. And we consider the shaded, not the whole. This is a whole, so we're going to consider this one, shaded or blackened point. So this is x equals 4 and the value of that is negative 2. So f of 4 is negative 2. Let's say f of negative 4. So we consider this one, negative 4. Because this is shaded, so the value is positive 3. Okay, that's the difference between finding the value of the function at x equals something and evaluating the limit as x approaches something green. Okay, how about another example? Evaluate the limit of the given function given the graph. So, uh, letter A, the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 2 from the left. This is our negative 2 from the left. What value is being approached? So, negative 2. So, negative 2 from the right. So, still this is negative 2. So, from the right, what value is being approached is still negative 2. So, left and right are both equal to negative 2. So, therefore, the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 2 is positive is also negative 2. How about for x approaches negative 4? So this is our negative 4 from the left. What is being approached? Positive 2. Then from the right here, going to negative 4, what is being approached by the function? 3. So 2 is not equal to 3. Therefore, the limit does not exist. For letter E, limit of f of x as x approaches 3. So this is our 3. So from the left, what value is being approached here? This one from the left. So negative 2. And from the right, so still negative 2. So negative 2 is equal to negative 2. Therefore, the limit of the function is negative 2. Okay? What if your uh, the problem is asking for? Uh, the value of the function. What will you do? Okay. Let's say the function is asking for, uh, the problem is asking for f of 3. So this one, x is equal to 3. So we are going to consider this point, which is negative 3. Let's say f of negative 2. So this negative 2, so this will be the point, And that is, negative 2 also. Okay, let's say f of negative 4. This one, so we'll consider the point here, not this one, right? So the value is positive 2. Okay? And last one. This is a specific, uh, special case. If we have this line, what do we call by this line? This is what we call the vertical asymptote and as you can see the vertical asymptote is the line x equals 2 so what's the limit of f of x if this is the graph of f of x as x approaches 2 from the left and also 2 from the right and actual two-sided limit so x approaches 2 so 2 from the left coming from the left this one going to 2, what will happen to that? It is approaching to positive infinity. And 2 from the right, this is 2 from the left, again, 2 from the right, this one, what will happen? The function is approaching to negative infinity. Since positive is not equal to negative infinity, so the limit does not exist. Okay?